What is a good age to start your own business? Really, do you feel beginning a startup really requires a specific age? No, I don't think so startup is nothing but a young company that is just beginning to develop. These companies offer a product or service that is not currently being offered elsewhere in the market. In short, you start developing and executing your idea in a startup. And getting an idea does not have any specific age. You just need that observation and perception to get an idea into your mind and start working on it. The day an idea comes to your mind and you start executing it, individually or in a team, yes my dear, you have started your startup. Let me give an example, computer is my best friend from my early childhood. When I heard about a boy who developed a website and my parents told me that I too can do like that, I stepped into the world of web designing. When I was three years old, I used to draw pictures using MS Paint program in computer. I gradually learned typing alphabets and started studying web designing. In fourth class, I was entrusted with the work of developing a website for my school, says Srilakshmi Suresh, the youngest web designer girl and CEO in the world and winner of numerous national and international awards, embarked into entrepreneurship at an age of 10 by establishing her own venture named eDesign Technologies. eDesign is a website designing company offering services like website design, web development, SEO and logo designing. Another such aspiring young entrepreneurs are Shravan and Sanjay Kumaran. Shravan Kumaran, a 15-year-old boy studying in 11th grade and his brother Sanjay Kumaran, a 13-year-old boy studying in 9th grade at Vales Billabong High International School in Chennai, are the youngest mobile application programmers in India. The duo has co-founded a company called Go Dimensions, a technology company with focus on developing simple solutions for the digital world. Shravan is co-founder and president, and Sanjay is co-founder and CEO of the company. They have developed seven mobile applications that are available on Apple's App Store. They have also created three apps for Google's Android Play Store. As per Sanjay and Shravan, these applications have got more than 60,000 downloads altogether from more than 60 different countries. They draw inspiration from Steve Jobs for his user interface and Bill Gates for his marketing strategy. After reading these examples, I just would like to say, age is not a concern in a startup, to any entrepreneur, if you want to do it, do it now. If you don't, you're going to regret it. Catherine Cook If you wait for a right age to start working on your idea, you might realize, the world has went too far now and I am left with just an idea and nothing else. Whenever you see an opportunity or market, I started my first business when I was 6, pre-primary school, I didn't get an allowance and was super envious of my friends who did. I sold them individual torn sheets from my jotter book at $0.05 oh, a sheet, and replaced the book for $0.20 20 from the school store. I bought sweets and coke with the rest. I was stopped after 3 or 4 days when the parents of my customers complained. When I was 8, in primary school, still no allowance, I saw a whole bunch of stationery on liquidation, got my dad to buy the lot and sold it in school at a lower price than the school store. I didn't even have to price tag them since they were already tagged with the non-clearance prices. The proprietor of the store was not pleased and had the school force me to shut down. I made about $200, a huge sum for me at the time, which my mum promptly confiscated and put in my savings account. When I was 16, I borrowed $5,000 from my dad and bought a four-telephone line BBS, this was in the 90s, before the internet was widely available in Singapore due to censorship and social control worries. I charged a subscription, paid via check or cash through the mail, for people to dial in to play games like Trade Wars, Major Mud and most of all, teleconference I. E. Text chat in real time. I expanded this BBS by small increments eventually to a 50-line system and ran a leased line to it allowing internet access over dial-up. I had a small monthly income of $1,000 to $2,000 and was able to hire my first ever employee to administer it, all while going through junior college, and all through university. It was great, I loved it, learned a lot, and made money. I've been very fortunate that my parents encouraged and supported my entrepreneurial streak, where most typical Singapore parents would have told me to shut up and study. I've been hustling ever since. 
Not all my ventures have been successful, but the ones that have more than compensated for the failures. Really, if you keep your eyes open, there are opportunities everywhere, even more today with the internet allowing local to go global. There is no minimum age to start. The moment you can figure out how to sell something for a profit is when you should begin. Although well-written and based on personal experience, I do not agree with Asim Qureshi's answer, most notably, all the tech startups with the 40-plus-year-old founders have done way better than the ones with the guys in their 20s. I don't disagree that outliers have distorted the founder perception, but this distortion should be used as a positive rather than a negative. It would be logical that founders in their 40s will be able to conceive an idea, based on longer-term experience, utilize existing knowledge, skills and contacts, and therefore build and scale a business quicker than the 20-somethings. Additionally, you have to take into account that these people can often afford to work unpaid and or can hire people from the beginning. However that is partly missing the point of how startups can work. The logic outlined above is relevant for the majority of new businesses, but is perhaps less relevant to tech startups. Six-sevenths of a year ago, to start a tech business you needed money, time and to be able to find a developer who knew what they were doing. The process was slow and often fizzled out. With the tech and skills that exist now, it is significantly easier to build and deploy websites in a matter of a few months. Now things of course go wrong and there are setbacks, but what you have going in your life, depicts how much time and energy you can put into this. Say for someone in their 20s, on the upside, they likely won't have a house, mortgage, kids or any real, responsibilities. Compared to someone in their 40s who can afford to take time off, still pay the bills, maybe do some contract part-time work and leverage the things mentioned above. Does this mean that you should wait for your 40s to start a business? Absolutely not, or absolutely yes, it depends on your position, driving factors and most important whether you have any existing, competitive advantage, that you can leverage. This advantage can be anything from rich friends family, skilled friends who you can convince to work for beer money, anything you can make use of, 